analytical derivation of equations of motion today we are going to derive analytically the theory equations of motion the first equation of motion the second equation of motion and the third equation of motion first equation of motion consider a particle moving with initial velocity u and a uniform acceleration a after 10 t the velocity of such particle is given by v equal u plus ht. We take that as equation one. Second equation of motion. Suppose h is this distance covered in time t, and u and v are the initial velocity and final velocity respectively. Rv velocity by v equal initial velocity plus final velocity divided by two. That is the average of initial velocity and final velocity. Also, we know that distance cover is given as the average velocity times time, that is by V multiplied by T. Now we're going to insert the average velocity into equation two, that is. That is the average velocity times time. If we do that, we're going to get u plus v over 2 multiplied by t. So we take that as an equation t. We also know from 1 that v equal to u plus h. That is the first equation of motion. So we're going to insert this equation into equation to get a ball. If we do that, that is we are inserting this. Uh, equation into this equation that is this v we become u plus ht so when we do that here we gonna have u plus u plus ht multiplied by t divided by 2 so we're gonna have 2 u plus ht over 2 times t then further as we simplify this we're gonna have ut plus half it is good this last equation is known as the second equation of motion Now, third equation of motion. The third equation of motion can be derived by squaring the both sides of the first equation as follows. First equation of motion is given as v is equal to u plus ht. We are going to square the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. If we do that, we can do have v squared is equal to u plus ht squared. That is, we're going to expand this. For the expansion, we're going to give us this. For the expansion, give us u squared plus 2u at plus a squared. So we have u squared plus 2a. And we should know how we call that s is equal to ut plus a at squared. Therefore, uh, we can reduce the equation to v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a s. This equation is what we know as a third equation of motion.